Hi, I'm Dan Elder from Kidasa Software. Welcome to this video about adding a baseline to a schedule in Milestones Professional. If you've already got a schedule in Milestones and you just want to add a baseline to these existing tasks, what you can do is go to the Insert tab and choose Insert or Remove a Baseline and then click on Insert a Baseline. If you haven't set up the baseline symbols yet, Milestones will want you to do that. So I can click on Yes. So on this first screen, we're going to set up the baseline tasks, and the next screen will be the baseline summary bars. So for the regular tasks, I'm going to just choose these symbols right here. Um, I've got four baseline symbols set up on the toolbox, and I'll show you how to do that here in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to choose this third one for the start symbol, and then the fourth one for the finish symbol. And then for the bar, I'm going to choose this darker blue bar right here. And you can see um, it's going to be this row in the toolbox um, that I'm using for that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to click on Next and set up the baseline summary. And for the baseline summary, I'm going to use this row in the toolbox. So I'm going to use the first and the second uh, baseline symbol that I set up. Uh, so here's the first baseline symbol and the second baseline symbol. And then for the bar, I'm going to use that light blue bar right there. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to go to the next screen. So I'm going to click on Next. And then you've got some additional options. So you can lock the baseline, hide the baseline. You can also highlight the baseline symbols with a yellow box. Um, <clears throat> you can also hide the baseline summary if you just want to hide the baseline summary. Um, and then there's a kind of dependency mode option where if you move, move a baseline symbol, it's going to affect non-baseline symbols. I'm going to just keep these all unchecked for now and then click on Finish. This dialog is giving you a couple options for your uh, baseline symbols and bars. So either of these first two options would work for me since I just want to add a baseline bar um, for all of these tasks on my schedule. Um, the second option is if you have uh, multiple uh, bars kind of on the same row. And then the third option is only going to add uh, symbols, so it's not going to add bars. And the final option uh, is kind of the vertical alignment. So by default, it's going to just go one level down. So uh, you're going to have your normal bar, and then it's going to put the baseline one level down vertically. Uh, from that bar and that would work in this case. So I'm just going to leave that option uh, the default and I'm going to press OK. And you can see it added that baseline to all of the tasks and then it also added the baseline summary bar for the summary levels. Um, you can see also there's numbers next to these symbols and that's actually the day of the month. So I'm actually going to turn off the date for those baseline symbols. So to do that, I'm going to uh, double click on the symbol on the toolbox. <clears throat> and you can see previously I set it up as a baseline symbol. So that's kind of how you can set up um, other symbols as baseline symbols if you don't have any already on your toolbox. Uh, but to turn the date off, I'm going to go to text and date properties. And for date placement, I'm going to choose hide and press OK. And you can see the date went away from that start symbol. And same thing with the finish symbol. I'm going to double click on that. Text and date properties. Date placement hide. And press OK. Now that we've got the baseline all set up, you can go to the View tab. And there's a couple options for baselines right here. So you can uncheck Show Baseline. That's going to hide the baseline. You can also lock the baseline so that you don't accidentally click and drag and move any of the baseline symbols. You can also highlight the baseline uh, with that little checkbox right there. And then you can also hide the baseline summary bars. So if you just want to hide just the summary bars, you can choose that right there. And that's pretty much it for adding a baseline to a Milestones Professional Schedule. If you have any questions, feel free to email support at kidasa.com and also check out our website at kidasa.com. 
Have a nice day.